Welcome back to Resale Mania and welcome back to another thrifting video. We are starting off at Rethink Thrift looking for stuff to resell on eBay for a profit. So on a new cart when I walked in I saw this little KitchenAid kettle. I'm not sure it's electric so I'm not sure what it's worth but I'll have to look it up. Oh that's a cool box for the glasses. We have three pairs of Athleta leggings on a new rack. They're two dollars and fifty cents each. So I spent some more time on that new uh, pants rack and it was amazing. We found a ton of really good stuff on that rack that we'll go over here in a bit. But what are these? Big, oh, I know West Clocks is pretty decent, but for $15, that's a little steep. Mm, tomorrow's half off day, so I'll probably get these tomorrow. I bet you this is a $25 to $30 clock. So there's some snowboard boots down here. The brand is Ride. Ride's a pretty decent brand. They're in good condition. They're 15. I'll probably use one of my $5 off coupons to get them for 10 because 15 is a little steep, but I do think I can sell these for like 60. Hello, Hank. How are you? How are you, buddy? It's a good kitty. Got a nice little Patagonia short sleeve shirt. $2.50 all clothing is unless marked. So I'll be grabbing that. It's a nice little Nike golf polo. I don't pick up all Nike golf polos, but for $2.50, and this is just a nice quality one. I think I'm gonna grab that one too. It's looking like a clothing stop. But that's okay, because clothing can sell for big money. All right, so unfortunately, these are priced up a little bit. These are Wilcox silver plated. Oh, this is a candle hoard holder and a little vase. They were 15 and 20, which is just a little too steep. They do seem to sell, but obviously I'd only make like 10 to $15 profit on each one, so I'm gonna leave them. So I've mentioned before that inflatable stuff can sell really well. Intex is a pretty decent brand. This is $15, it is brand new, and it looks like I can get anywhere between 80 and $90 for it. Um, this little inflatable couch, which is really cool. Never seen one of these, so definitely gonna grab that. I'm pretty sure these old cue balls could be pretty valuable. These ones you can tell are definitely old. Uh, it's 40 bucks for all of them though, which is probably too steep. I don't see a marking or brand on them. I don't know how to tell, but um, I'll probably leave them. If they're still here tomorrow, I'll do more research on them, look them up, but. This is a cool little Patagonia hat. Cool like old beach style. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that one up. That one's really cool. So I went back over to the new rack just to make sure I didn't miss anything and I'm glad I did. Learned a new brand and like I said, I'll go over the rest of the stuff I pulled off that rack uh, out in the car or something, but I found these pants on it. They felt like good quality. I had to look them up. It's Lucy Yak. And yeah, this is a new like Bolo brand for me. That's the tag. Uh, it looks like I can get like 40 bucks for these. Uh, that is awesome. So unfortunately, I'm gonna put this back without its heating base, it's not really worth anything. With it, it does sell for like 40 to 50 bucks. So look out for these if you do find them with the base. But without it, just gonna leave it. I think this is gonna be the last find of the stop, this little Vacuumatic by Volrath. I looked it up at six bucks, one sold for 60 plus shipping, but it's looking like 35 is the more reasonable, logical price. But still for six bucks, that's some good profit. All right, I didn't have a great spot to set the camera, so bear with me. We spent $75 on a massive full cart of stuff. So I showed you the Luciac. Um, I showed you the Nike Golf. Got several, several pairs of Athleta pants, uh, joggers, leggings, at like probably seven pairs. Uh, you guys saw the Patagonia. Here is, oh, some La Sportiva, like hiking pants. La Sportiva stuff sells great. See another pair of Athleta leggings, just basic rib. These are all the basic pairs. They sell for like 20 a piece, but for $2.50 each, and we're getting into legging season. Oh, I totally forgot to look this up. The brand is encrypted. I don't know how well you can see it. it they, they just feel like really good quality, so they might be worth something. They might not. You'll see a comp on the screen. Let's see. Oh, we got some Lululemon joggers. Those are nice. Those should sell for 30 some brand new, uh, with the tags, Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, or no, Polo ASSN, my bad. Uh, but yeah, they're brand new with tags. I paid 10 for them. I'm guessing 40, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I didn't really look them up. <laughs> some more Athleta pants, nothing crazy, basic. What brand is this? Apana, Apana? 
yeah i totally forgot to look this one up too but it felt really nice um a lot of quality pants up there so i just grabbed them and for only a couple of bucks each you can't go wrong i got the volrath pot and, and one more pair of athleta leggings and then you guys saw the rest this alone should make me my 75 dollars back and the rest of it will be profit i got the ride snowboard boots and the cool patagonia hat I'm not sure if it is vintage or just made to look vintage, but it is really cool. I like it. So $75 for all of that. I think we did really good. All right, so we're now on our way to my local Goodwill. Hopefully we can keep this momentum going. We are now at my local Goodwill. First find in the men's shoes are these Nike fly knits. This is a really good model and they're only $8. Those should sell for 40. Some Allen Edmond tassel loafers in really good condition. They're $13. This is the, the uh, Maxfield model. I'll have to look them up to see if it's worth $13, but I think they will be. We have another pair, exact same model. I think it's a bigger size though. And these are only 10, but they are just in perfect condition. No creasing at all. That one's definitely gonna be worth 10. And another pair of Nike Fly Knits. These ones are only $6. This is also a good model. Once I clean them up, those should sell pretty well. There's some Keens, but they're $15. Here's some crazy looking Nikes. They are $10. A little dirty, but good physical condition. I'll have to look them up. And some Sims wading boots. How much are they? I can find the sticker. $15 for some Sims wading boots. It's a little steep for this model, but... Oh. I'm trying to put, wrap them around, I'm struggling here. But uh, for 15, I think I can still get 60. If anything, at least it's a shoe stop. And yet another pair of shoes, these Kizix. These are the hands-free model, which are really popular, $8. Those are probably worth 40. I'm not really sure what this is, this Tecton stamp set, but at six bucks, I just scanned it and it does seem to sell pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Got some rims. They don't look to be any specific brand. It's a pretty cool little canteen. Uh, there's a few tennis rackets I might come back and look up after I'm done walking around. What is this? Ooh, this is good. Nemo's a good brand. I think this is like some sort of camping thing. Six bucks. I guarantee that's going to be worth it. The Nemo Tensor. Yeah. We just scored big guys. This Jensen Radio JWM62A. It's six bucks. This thing sells used for like 120 bucks. So that is awesome. Definitely grabbing this. Guys, I just had the biggest panic attack ever. Holy crap. So I set my GoPro down while looking stuff up. I found a few more things in the meantime. Um, but I set my GoPro down and walked away. And I came back and it was gone. And I was panicking. I'm like running around looking all in my cart. I'm like, where did I put this? Because uh, it has a bunch of footage saved to it too. And I look over, I see a guy holding it in his hand, just walking. I think he thought yeah. it was for sale here. <laughs> I was like, sir, that that's mine. Can I please have that? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I totally set it down and, oh man, that gave me a heart attack. I was freaking out for a sec. All right, but now that I'm not panicking, let me show you guys. Well, now that I have a camera to show you guys uh, some of the things I found. For one, I have to look these up. This, I don't know, some... I just feel like this is going to be worth $2.99. I don't know what it's from, but I'm going to look it up. And then there's these Godzilla toys. This one's $7.99, which might be a little high for that one. And two of these Kongs for $6 a piece. Uh, yeah, I don't know if these are going to be worth it or not. I'm going to have to look them up. And then, what else? The cart's pretty full. Oh, yeah, I got to look this thing up. I'm not sure what it is. But I found this little speaker here, and this is what I was looking up when uh, I lost the camera. This little Tony Box speaker for six bucks. Looked it up, and it looks like I can get like 45 for it, which is pretty good for six bucks. And I might need a second cart. Oh, I'll try and get him out. This bag out. So Swix, Swix is a really good brand. Uh, S W I X. This is a ski boot bag, which is really nice. Set eight dollars. This should sell fairly quickly coming into ski season for at least fifty, I would assume. And then I found these UGG Bluetooth earmuffs for four. These should go for like twenty twenty five. All right, so I'm gonna put back the Kong figures and the Godzilla. They this sells for like twenty plus shipping. So for six, I'm gonna leave it. So this little guy, it's a Beast Lab Raging Raptor. Sells for like 15 to 20 bucks. So for three, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I'm over in the women's shoes now. There's these Nike Cortezes for eight. 
decent model. A magic eraser should clean those up. I'll grab them. Another pair of women's Nikes for six. A little dirty, but that's a pretty good model. And I was about to grab these and show you guys these first. I was like, oh, these are great for $8, except it's missing the whole back of the shoe. <laughs> Some Brooks Glycerin 20s though for eight. Good condition, really good model. This should sell for 40 to 50. So I'm about to go ahead and do my last loop around the store really quick, but I remembered I have a 20% off coupon. So I'm definitely gonna be using this today considering I have quite the full cart. So I'm back in the hard goods and there's this digital indoor TV antenna for six bucks. Uh, there's one sold for 30 plus like 20 shipping and there's none listed. So I think I could list this for 40 bucks and maybe get it. I think this is gonna be my last find of this stop, this uh, Safety Siren Pro Series. It's four bucks and it looks like I can get about 30 plus shipping. So yeah, for four bucks, I'm gonna get it. But we've got a nice full cart here and now it's time to check out and see what the damage is. I lied. <laughs> I saw these Uggs as I was walking out. I've never seen Uggs like this. They are really nice. They're $13, which is paying up, but that 20% off coupon should save me a few bucks. I'm sorry guys, I spoke away too soon. Uh, Found another pair of shoes. These are Allen Edmonds for 10. Not as good as not as good of condition as the other ones, but they're still really good condition. And what? They're gonna be like eight dollars, being 20% off. So I'm gonna grab them. And here we go, another pair. I don't know if a new cart came out or something while I was in the hard goods, but yeah, I missed a few pairs. These are also gonna be eight. So yeah. Would you guys look at that? Another pair of Allen Edmonds. I was seriously debating even coming out today. I was like, I don't really feel like going thrifting today. I've got stuff to do, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, a new cart had to have come out because there's no way I missed these two. These Nike Air Force Ones, they're 15 with 20%, like some NBA style. Yeah, they're in good condition. I guess I'm grabbing those too. Some Teva hiking sandals for eight. Yeah, it's a good model. All right, now, now I'm ready. Maybe. Probably. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we weren't done. Went back to the women's shoes and found these Hoka's for only six. They're in good condition. And another pair of shoes. Who would have guessed? Some Ariat boots, women's. They are $9.99, so they're only going to be $8 today. Man, I have not spent that much at a single thrift store in a while. I spent $184 on everything. With the 20% off, I had saved 46. It was at like two something, 220 something, uh, which is just crazy. But just a massive, massive full cart. Obviously not gonna be going over every single item again, but you guys saw everything I got. You guys saw the comps on the screen. I am stoked. Now I just need to get home though and get some of this listed because it's a lot of money to spend at one store. But wow, yeah, we just did incredible. Probably the best thrift stop I've had in a couple months. But the entire back seat is full from two thrift stores. Just incredible. Now I'm gonna run to storage, pull some orders that need to be shipped, go home, get this stuff clean, prepped, and listed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at Rethink Thrift for half off. All right, so it's the next day. Just pulled up to Rethink Thrift. It looks like they opened the doors a couple minutes early, so we're gonna run in here and see what we can find for half off day. Headed to the new rack first, little LL Bean. A Filson flannel, Filson's a really good brand. Got a Mammoth jacket. Ooh, this is probably a $50 jacket, Steo. And what a good new rack, Carhartt vest. And a Woolrich, that's a nice one. I'm gonna have to look this one up, Willie Smith collection. Oh yeah, that was a really good new rack. I'm gonna put these cue balls in my uh, cart for now and I'll look them up in a bit since they made it half off. I'm not really sure what this is. It's I sound. It's five bucks. I'm gonna put it in the cart and I'll look it up in a bit. And just a reminder, I know I stated it yesterday, uh, but all clothing is two dollars and fifty cents unless marked. So we found some really good stuff for very cheap. I almost overlooked these, but I saw the Patagonia down here on the bottom. Some Patagonia shorts. What are these? Some Fisher backcountry ski boots for three bucks. Yeah, that is going to be a buy. Those are probably worth 50 bucks. That's a pretty good brand right there. That little goat logo, Backcountry. It's probably a $15 hat. So this was just added to that new rack. This uh, sweater. The brand is, what was it, Dale of Norway, I think? Yeah, Dale of Norway. 
the thing sells for like a hundred bucks. That's insane. I'm definitely picking that up. So I just looked up this iSound thing and it looks like I can get about 30 bucks for it. So I'm going to grab it. It's neat. All right, guys, checked out. I spent $52 on everything, which is absolutely insane. 52 bucks for all that clothing. Uh, I'm not just a clothing seller, guys, but I find a lot of good clothing. So when I do, I pick it up. Now, I, I bought the cue balls. Completely forgot to look them up. Uh, they were just in the cart. 20 bucks. They look old. I'm, I'll make my money back at least, so I'm not too worried. Filson always sells for big money. Got L.L. Bean, which is basic, but the style's nice. They got the Woolrich vest. Sorry. Steel. Steel's a huge bolo brand you want to look out for. Carhartt. Oh. And... Oh yeah, I didn't look this up either, but you guys would have seen comps on the screen. And yeah, just some good finds. I'm gonna get out this person's way. I'm still, I'm still haven't gotten over when someone walks by me when I'm filming. I definitely get anxious still, but it is what it is. As time goes on, I get less anxious doing it. <laughs> but when someone's like standing right behind me, I'm just talking to a camera. I do feel like a weirdo. So something I've noticed I've been doing lately. Uh, we're off to Goodwill now, but I noticed that when I like have a really good stop at a thrift store, fill up a cart, I'll put things in the cart like that clothing item and the cue balls, meaning to look it up, but I get like almost too excited with everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, such a good stop that I forget to look stuff up. And I've done it like the last few times. Uh, so I bought two things. I think it was this video. Yeah, yesterday. I bought two things yesterday uh, that I put in the cart, didn't look up, got home. They weren't worth anything. Those sweatpants and that one sweatshirt, uh, just not worth anything. But so hopefully these are, they felt like good quality. Either way, I found so much good stuff that it will pay for the bad buys. Uh, yeah, just got to get more diligent with looking stuff up and be better at it. We're now back at my local Goodwill. Hopefully they did some restocking and we could find some good stuff. Right off the bat, found some Merrells in really good condition for 10 bucks. Good model. Here we go. One of my absolute favorite things to buy and sell. Uh, it's $15, but it comes with the black diamond harness, uh, La Sportiva climbing shoes, and a black diamond chalk bag. The harness should sell for 35, the chalk bag will sell for 15 to 20, and the La Sportiva shoes should sell for 45. So that is also a great buy for 15. We have a nice men's Solomon snowboard jacket. It's $13, but this should sell pretty well. I think I can get about 50 to 60 for it. I'm not sure if this is worth much or, worth much or not. Uh, Brother PC301 rolling printing cartridge four bucks i'll look it up in a bit Ooh, how much do they want of these kelty bags please be a lot of money because i don't want to buy it because <laughs> they are hard to ship where's the tags down here come on be a lot 13 yeah i'm gonna leave them for 13 if they were like six or seven i would buy them but these kelty tioga backpacks sell for like a hundred bucks pretty pretty well but they are so hard to ship because it's a metal frame doesn't really break down you need a huge box but if you can get them for a few bucks they're worth it it's a panasonic blue line vcr it's a bit dirty it's six bucks we'll throw it in the cart and do a little test on it see if it works over in the toys there's a new sealed simon sorry for six i'll scan it real quick see if it is worth buying only because it's new sealed just go to the eBay app, hit the camera. Most of you guys know this, just saying it for the new sellers. Wait for it to load. Let's see, $14 new, so I am gonna leave it. What is this, beer IQ? <laughs> I have a very high beer IQ. In the women's shoes, there's these Ariat boots. They're 40 bucks, but these things are brand new. I'm not gonna get them. If they were 20, I'd probably get them because those like have never been worn. But are these? No, I don't think these are. Yeah, no. I thought those were Doc Martens for a sec, but I was wrong. So there's these a Solo Gore-Tex boots. They're only $10, but as you can see from the condition, not the greatest condition. It looks like they're mostly just dirty. Some Doc Martens Wonder Bomb could clean that up and make them look decent. It's a really good brand, good model of boots. I think I'm gonna leave them though. In this condition, maybe 40, but if they're in better condition, 70 to 80. 
There's this really cool Nike Air pullover with some sleeve graphics, but it's nine dollars. Nine just is a little too steep for it. If it was five bucks, I'd probably pick it up because that's just cool. But I don't know, nine bucks just a little too high for me. It's cool, a little Pokemon graphic hoodie. Not Pokemon, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, XL, how much is that one? It's probably also nine, yeah, nine. I'm gonna leave it. How'd I miss this the first go around? 13 bucks, it's a little steep, but this is a really good model of Kizix and they're in really good condition. So those are probably 45 bucks, I'll grab them. This is why you always do a second loop through all the aisles you've been through, because I missed a huge score. These Z-Coil shoes are $10, right? Z-Coils are already good sellers, but these things are in like pristine condition, maybe worn a couple times. Uh, yeah, I should be able to get close to 100 for these. That is awesome. Over in the kitchens, there's this Belgia Q, Tools of the Trade, three quart pot for six bucks. That's probably 25 to 30. I'll definitely grab that. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. What is it? Um, I don't see a brand on this one. Yeah, that one seems to be unbranded. Red copper. Here's an, oh my goodness, <laughs> almost dropped the lid. Another Belgia Q copper bottom. That is Belgia Q, right? Yeah, Belgia Q. This one's eight bucks, but I think it'll still be worth it. Here's another, this one's Tools of the Trade um, for eight bucks. It's a pretty big stock, but that should be worth it. Unfortunately, these are all, you know, from a different set, obviously, so you can't lot them together, but individually, they'll still sell for good money. So here's another one. This is Tremontina, the brand is. It's a 16 quart stock pot, uh, triply crazy big 10 bucks i think i can get like 60 for it so that's also going in here i apologize if pots and pans are boring to you guys but there's just so many good ones another belgia q for six. all right i think that's it for the pots and pans gonna do one last sweep through the hard goods make sure i didn't miss anything and then i am probably ready to check out I didn't see much over here the first go around since so those might be good let me look them up all right definitely not good uh they are eight dollars and they sell seven dollars new so definitely leave as i was heading to check out a new jean cart came out there's these rock revival jeans on it for eight eight's paying up but i think i can still get like 30 for them so i'll get them all right so i spent 117 dollars on everything in total uh just crazy stop all four stops in this video i filled my cart that's crazy uh a lady my cart is still full a lady asked me while i was walking out the store she said uh i know the light's bad but someone's on that side trying to back up she goes is there a special deal today i was like nope just bought a lot of stuff uh the z coil shoes should make me the majority of my money back on their own which is fantastic all the pots and pans obviously not going to go over everything in total but we found some really good stuff some barkeeper's friend will clean these up nice and make them look really uh make them look like new i use barkeeper friend barkeeper's friend i cannot talk today i apologize on all pots and pans it gets all the grub off really really easily so that's something i highly recommend for cleaning these but man we did so good for 117 dollars and yeah that wraps up the stuff cool don't want to drop it so some videos i get more excited to post than others because i'm like i know it's going to do really well especially with how like i said i filled all four carts at all four stores which is really good for i mean i usually find good stuff but that's really good I am at my storage unit now. I'm gonna pull some orders that have to be shipped, but I've also been chatting with Harry Tornado this morning, and uh, you guys have been seeing me buy a lot of stuff for future whatnot auctions, and the pile's gotten a little bit too big. I've been buying too much and not having any auctions. I've only had the one still. I do plan on doing them more in the future. It's just, I'm not passionate about whatnot like I am eBay, so not as often. So what I'm gonna do is go into that pile of stuff that I got and I'm gonna send Mr. Josh, AKA one of the hairiest tornadoes there is, a mystery box full of whatnot stuff to sell. And yeah, I'm, he's gonna open it on his channel at some point, but uh, I'm just trying to make a little bit more room, get rid of some of this stuff, because like I said, I don't even know when I'm gonna be having whatnot auctions and give him you know, a fun box to go through. Because, yeah, this is the mound, and the totes there are the mound of stuff I got for whatnot. I know, it's overwhelming, crazy, which is why I'm sending in 
a box to Josh. Now I'm obviously not going to show you guys, you know, everything I'm sending him. Leave that up to uh, your guys' imagination. <laughs> you know, not give away too much so you can see it in his video if you're interested in seeing it. I'm just going to show you guys a few things I'm going to put in and yeah. Quick look at the pile. That's all you're getting. And with that, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing, and I'll see you next time.